Hello, 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 and good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, no matter where you are in the world today. I'm so happy to have you here joining us back for our small segment series. My name is Dawn Krush, and if you haven't yet joined us, welcome to all the fun. I am the creator and founder of We Who Work Panel Discussions, and I'm here to bring you our small segment series for the day about manifesting your goals. So if you have previously tuned in for our discussions, I'm so happy to have you back. And if you haven't yet had the chance to watch our discussions, you're going to want to head back to our channel, check it out, listen, and watch as we continue to grow and expand, speaking to professionals all across the country about changes they continue to face both inside and outside of the workplace, guys. So today, I wanted to take a couple minutes around the purpose of my panels and just a little bit about how I've continued to manifest my goals throughout my life that have brought me here today. So a little bit about my story. Uh, I've always had a passion for people and a passion for connection. I've been extremely fortunate to have the foundation of happiness and love from the very beginning. And I long ago promised myself to share as much of that as possible with others who have been equally or less fortunate or really even more fortunate because even the wealthiest of people in some ways can also feel empty in other ways. So when I decided to move forward with my bachelor's, my bachelor's degree in psychology, it was a very natural transition for me. And um, it just really kind of gave me the opportunity to really learn the inner workings of a human and how our minds work and our thoughts are manifesting. So I really had already felt like I had been doing that for years. So this was really natural for me. So I've been lucky from an early age, my parents have cultivated experiences that really have allowed me to learn and speak and build relationships with people from all over the world. So as um, that has continued to benefit me through my young adult life, and even up until now, um, I chose to make some decisions based on the journey that I had taken in my young adulthood about learning new cultures. And I found myself seizing an opportunity to learn and study and live in Hawaii when I was 21. So um, I say that I seized an opportunity because I don't say that I was lucky enough because something my dad has long instilled in me is luck is when preparedness meets opportunity. So I'll say that again for you. Luck is when preparedness meets opportunity. So um, he still continues to install that into me today, as he did just over coffee a couple of weeks ago. So um, it felt like the time was right to make and uh, take that opportunity. And, you know, as that was presented to me, even though I felt scared, I knew that in order to manifest the goals that I had for myself and really wanting to spread my wings, I needed to follow my gut. So moving on when my time ended in Hawaii and I finished my bachelor's back in Abington, Pennsylvania, I then followed my gut again, moving to Portland, Oregon, and this time following my heart. So this time I chose to manifest the goals of my heart. So although that relationship was not successful, I choose not to regret a single moment of that time in my life because that has really allowed me to learn and grow and change and really discover of my true self. And, you know, anyone who's had a broken heart knows that really picking up the pieces, it can be very difficult, but it also can be very, very rewarding, uh, you know, putting yourself back together again and figuring out a new you and being a fresh self and really allowing those experiences to have you grow and change in a positive way. So after leaving Portland, I found myself kind of in limbo, figuring out what I wanted to do, knowing I wanted to go into graduate school, knowing I wanted to travel through Europe. So I next chapter was manifesting my dreams of travel and education. So I then um, cultivated an experience to travel through Europe for three months, um, you know, and then coming back, absorbing myself into graduate level studies. So I traveled through Europe in Switzerland, Italy, and Spain, and was lucky enough to visit Israel. And then I came home and I immersed myself into graduate studies. I immersed myself into full-time work. And none of that was ever easy. Uh, now I'm out of that thick struggle and I have my master's degree, but I'm still working full-time as well. And, you know, anybody who has been through graduate level studies and who has continued to work through that time knows that the struggle is real, but the struggle is worth it. And knowing that you have the capacity to do that is, it's really um, self-rewarding. So um, I want, it's important though that people understand that it's it's okay to change your goals and it's okay to realize that you might be on a path that no longer serves you. Um, as the path in Portland was not a path for me anymore at that time, 
I love Portland, Oregon, but I chose to make the decision and I chose to leave knowing that that was a path that no longer served me and that I had the courage to now start a new chapter. So here we are jumping into 2020 and I found myself in a really strange place, right? I found myself May 2020 graduating into a pandemic with a master's degree, like many others have experienced as well. I'm so excited that all that I've done uh, while also feeling like I have this huge wall standing in my way. So here I think to myself, wow, business is changing, the world is changing, lives are changing. Um, I found myself guilty in the headspace of how am I supposed to reach my goals or how am I supposed to manifest my dream? But then it hit me that I was really being so selfish in that I was only thinking about myself and my own hardship. And so then I took some time to stop and realize what did I want? Um, how will I manifest this dream and how will I manifest this goal? And you know, I really believe in myself and I, in order for others to believe in you, you must believe in yourself. So as I started opening the conversation with business professionals and their experiences, I started listening more and talking less, which is really difficult to do. If you are not somebody who listens well, or if you're somebody who talks a lot like me, it can at times feel very difficult to stop and listen to others. But Listening is one of the best and most powerful skills that you can develop for yourself. And it is a skill that can be developed. So I continue to work on that every day and it's not easy, but uh, the respect you can gain and the understanding that you can gain from listening to others is, is really astronomical. And I, I really recommend reading about that and reading about that skill and ways that you can improve yourself because uh, you know, I continue to improve that every single day, and that's a forever journey. So here we are, move forward, 2021, We Who Work panel discussions have been born, and I have now allowed myself not only the platform to talk to people from all over the world and talk to people from all over my country of the United States, but I have also given others a platform to shed light on their experiences and the opportunities that they have taken and how we can all be a change agent to one another. So as these panels were born, I will continue to manifest as dreams. And some things that I choose to remember uh, when I am trying to manifest my goals or when I am encouraging others to manifest their goals is that one, I, I must continue to encourage other people even when I am feeling down. So even the most positive of people and most optimistic of people can have hard days. So I think it's extremely important to continue to support and encourage other people, even if you're not in a, in, in a good headspace yourself. So another is you have to be patient in the process. I know that it's so cliche, but it, I am inherently impatient. That is also something I continue to learn and, and try to practice. So sometimes I find myself impatient, even if there's a one minute on the microwave and I'm standing there like, come on, come on, come on. I feel like my time could be better used to someplace else, but really I'm only then frustrating myself in that minute. So understanding that things don't happen overnight and persistence is key, right? Persistence can be a fine line for everyone. You know, that fine line of if you're in the job search, you know that persistence and, you know, being annoying, how, how do you find that barrier? So there's a lot of research about persistence. There's a lot of information. There's a lot of knowledge. So go ahead and research um, some of that, guys, because I think it's important. And it's also important to remember that you have to put in the work, you know, focus your passions, put in the time. It takes a lot of hard work, but, you know, you have to stay the course. And of course, there's going to be discouraging moments because you're a human. I'm a human. And, you know, sometimes we want that instant gratification, especially in a world where things are moving so quickly. But it's important to understand that you really have to put in the hard work and that, you know, you have to think about it as there's somebody else that's fighting for the same thing you are. Uh, but there's enough space and enough success in the world to go around. So the last thing I always remember is to have a positive perspective. I am somebody who is a lot, you know, preaching positivity, but I'm preaching positivity in, in a way that it's not denying reality and the hard times or that sometimes things can be overwhelming. It's that even in the toughest of circumstances uh, that they can be overcame with a positive mindset and a positive dialogue. So 
there you have it, guys. Just a little bit from me to you, my brain to your ears, a little bit about my journey. Um, so as I close this up for you guys, uh, the major key takeaway I want for you guys is to direct your manifest, direct your efforts in the goal or the opportunity that you want to manifest and make your dreams a reality. If I can do it, you can do it. There is no reason why you can't do it. Or if you feel that you have something standing in your, standing in your way, um, working through that, figuring out a way around that, um, you know, in a, in a safe manner. And we want the best for everyone. So whether your goals are career driven or soul searching driven or love driven, um, you have to start by giving yourself the permission and the courage to manifest those dreams into the reality. So again, it is not easy, but it's worth it. Anything worth having is hard, right? So uh, as you continue to grow and you continue to support one another and remember that you're looking support for support and you don't have family or friends, um, please lean on us. Please lean on our platform. Please reach out to a professional. Um, use this resource as a place for success. I am so excited to continue manifesting my dreams into reality with all of you present. And I hope that a little piece of my journey has manifested in some motivation for you and allows you to seek out what you're passionate about and what you're happy about and how you can make this world a better place. So thank you so much for tuning in, guys. We'll be back next week for another small segment series, and I'm really looking forward to it, guys. Thanks so much.